Yeah, Anderson, on Monday, I guess, which was yesterday, an envelope was received at the White House mail screening facility, which, as you know, is something that's been set up uh, for many, many years to screen mail coming into the White House for just these sorts of uh, situations. And according to the U.S. Secret Service, they did an initial biological testing on the envelope. That tested negative, but earlier today, according to the Secret Service, uh, they did chemical testing on this envelope and it returned what they're calling a presumptive positive for cyanide. Uh, and then that sample was transported to another facility to confirm the results. Uh, and at this point, the Secret Service is saying, because this is an ongoing investigation, uh, they don't have any additional comment at this time. But we have heard from a law enforcement official in the last hour or so who said that there were no injuries or exposure concerns uh, for the person at the sorting facility who opened this letter. So, you know, Anderson, again, you know, with all the questions that are going on with the Secret Service, uh, this is an example of when, you know, they do catch something and they do perform their duty and something is spotted in time uh, to prevent something something quite damaging from reaching the White House. And any idea how long it's going to take to get more testing? Uh, you know, I, typically, Anderson, these things can happen in a couple of days, and so I think we should know something within the next 24 to 48 hours, but right now the Secret Service is not commenting. I think they're just relieved that they were able to catch this when they did at the mail sorting facility, which is, again, why that is there. Uh, and it, it is interesting that it initially was not testing positive, uh, but then tested positive later today. Yeah. So well, thank uh, you. we're going to have to wait and see what the latest is on that uh, in the next couple of days.